Hey folks, I wanted to make a little video to help you with the second page of lab number four, okay? So in lab number four, we are looking at the central limit theorem, and I feel pretty good that you can do the stuff that StatCrunch adds on the front page or on the first page by yourself. But I think the second page is a little confusing, so I just wanted to talk through it with you, okay? So I've asked you to choose a, a data set. Now you can use a data set from StatCrunch, or if there's some other data set out there that comes from a reputable source that you're really interested in, you can also do that, okay? But for right now, I'm just gonna go to data sets under StatCrunch, and it's gonna load, and I'm gonna choose the first one that pops up, okay? Now I'm gonna ask you not to do that. Um, I think it is good to sort of look at all the different data sets that they have and truly find one that spark some interest in you, right? So I'm going to just click the first one just because I'm making a short video, right? So this shows um, movies, its release date, their budget, domestic gross, and worldwide gross, okay? And so on the second page, I ask you to go take some samples. So you're going to go to data, you're going to go to sample, and then you're going to click. Now, for whatever column you're interested in, so let's say I'm interested in the budget, okay? I'm going to click on that column. I only need to click one column here. I just want one data set, okay? Now, the sample size I ask you to do is four for the first one. That number is going to change. And the number of samples, if you look at the sheet, says 25. Now, that number is not going to change. But the sample size number, I'm going to ask you to do it with four, and then uh, let's see, with nine and 49, and then I'm gonna ask you to think about what it might be with a few other numbers, okay? Now, all of that is fine and good, but here's where I think the tricky part is. We want to calculate the average of each of these 25 samples. The way we do that, we're gonna click compute statistic for each sample. Now, where it says optional, now it's grayed out, we actually have to type something in there. In fact, we want to type exactly what's down here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it here. But before I click compute, I have to change call name, which is like column name, to the name of the column I'm interested in. So in mine, I was interested in the budget. So I can go ahead and just type in budget, parentheses, dollar sign, M, inside my column name, okay? So budget, parentheses, dollar sign, M, close it, okay? Now this should allow me to compute, hopefully it does. Oh no, okay, I was having this problem earlier, so this is why I wanted to make sure we went over this, all right? So I'm gonna try it again, I'm just gonna type it in, mean, parentheses, sample, budget, M, close, and close it again, parentheses, or quotation marks, close it. All right, let's click compute. Okay, so I was just missing an additional parentheses, right? Now, I know that's annoying. I'm kind of glad it went badly for me so we could see it happens to everyone and it's okay. We just need to be careful that we've copied the right column name, okay? Now it tells me that I've got a new column in my data. And so if we look at this last column here, I should have 25 numbers here. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Whoops. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so these 25 numbers, as I tell you on the document, these 25 numbers tell you the means or the averages of those four random samples that we that StatCrunch found 25 times, okay? So we don't need to go through and randomly pick four. We can just ask StatCrunch to do it for us. We just have to make sure we type in the thing and then that last column will give us exactly what we're looking for, okay? Now from here, I ask you to use StatCrunch to make a histogram, all right? So just as a quick review, we can go to our graph and we can go to histogram. And the column we're gonna do is the one we just made, the average of those samples. Okay, 
Now, sometimes it's nice to, where did it go? Sometimes it's nice to have um, the overlay distribution just to put a normal distribution over it and kind of see what that looks like, okay? You don't have to, but let me go ahead and click that now. So what this is going to do is create a histogram of my averages of the sampling population, and then on top of it, it's going to show me a normal graph. So, and we can see here that this data set, like that's clearly not following a normal distribution, but I wonder what happens if we start to take bigger and bigger sample sizes, okay? And so that's sort of the gist of what you're going to do. So again, you're going to do this process, the one that's on the second page. You're going to do it for an equal or for sample size four, sample size nine, sample size 25, oh no, not 25, 49. Uh, and then I'm going to ask you to think about what would happen for 144 and for 400. Now you're welcome to, in your data set, run it again just to see, okay? But you want to make sure whatever you have here that you're taking screenshots of this putting that in your Google Doc, and that way you can submit that, okay? So I hope it was helpful to kind of go through exactly what we're doing. Again, don't choose movie budgets and box office earnings. Scroll a little deeper into StatCrunch and find a data set that actually speaks to you, okay? All right, let me know if you have any questions.